Welcome to German history with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And this video, I'm speaking about Felix Steiner. Please, as always, make sure if you enjoy this video to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Felix Martin Julius Steiner was born on May 23rd in the year 1896 in Stalopern, a son of a teacher. In March of 1914, he joined the Prussian army as a one-year volunteer in the infantry regiment number 41, with whom he participated in the First World War. After he was severely wounded in November 1914, he returned in January 1915 and was promoted to the rank of second lieutenant. Up until the year 1918, he served on the Southern Theater as well as the Eastern, Eastern Theater. In October of the year 1918, he was promoted to the rank of first lieutenant, and for his achievements in the First World War, he was awarded both classes of the Iron Cross. In the year 1919, he joined an East Persian Freikorps before he was taken on in the Reichswehr in the year 1921. Up until 1933, he served in the German army before he left the Reichswehr ranked as a major. He then joined the NSDAP, the National Social German Workers' Party, as well as the Sturmabteilung, SA, where he published manuals for the military training of SA members. His vision for the SA was to be a replacement army for the Reichswehr. After the SA was crippled in its power after the Night of Long Knives, where the SA leader Ernst Röhm and other high-ranking members were murdered, Felix Steiner transferred in the Schutzstaffel SS in 1935. Felix Steiner should become one central figure in building up the Waffen SS into a real army. After serving as an instructor at the SS Junker School in Bad Tölz, he participated in the occupation of the Czech part of Czechoslovakia in the year 1938. With his SS Standarte named, named Deutschland, Germany, he also participated in the Poland as well as the West Campaign. For his achievements, he was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross in August 1940, and in November 1940, he was promoted to the rank of SS Brigadeführer, equivalent to the rank of Major General in the Wehrmacht. In December 1940, he took over command of SS Division Viking, which he commanded during Operation Barbarossa. In January 1942, Felix Steiner was promoted to the rank of SS Gruppenführer and Lieutenant General of the Waffen SS. For his achievements during the campaign in the Soviet Union, he was awarded the German Cross in Gold in April 1942, as well as the Oak Leaves to his Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross in December 1942. From November 21, 1942 until January 2, 1943, Felix Steiner was the commanding general of the 3rd Panzer Corps, which the SS Division Viking was a part of. On March 30, 1943, Steiner took over command of the 3rd Germanische SS Panzer Corps. On July 1st of the same year, Felix Steiner was promoted to the rank of SS Obergruppenführer, equivalent to the general of the Waffen SS. In August 1943, the Corps was transferred to the Balkan fighting Yugoslavian partisans and later was transferred to Italy to mainly disarm the Italian troops. In the wintertime of the same year, the SS Panzer Corps was transferred to the Northeastern Front and was put under the command of the 18th Army. On August 10, 1944, he was awarded the Swords to his Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross. And at the end of October 1944, Steiner had to give up command of the Panzer Corps due to sickness. 
With his health restored, Felix Steiner took over command of the rebuilt 11th Army in January 1945. In March of the same year, he was named commander of Army Group Steiner with the objective to relieve the encircled capital of the German Reich, Berlin. Since his army group only really existed on paper, Felix Steiner was unable to launch an effective relief and therefore was relieved of his command on April 27, 1945. On May 3rd, the same year, Felix Steiner became an American prisoner of war and was released out of captivity in April 1948. All charges against him were dropped in the Nuremberg trials, and as a matter of fact, Felix Steiner held leading positions in organizations founded and financed by the CIA to prepare Germany for rearmament. He died on May 12, 1966, at the age of 69 in the city of Munich.